Ladies and gentlemen, I've been given a donation to do a video on genetic fallacies versus statistical information. Now, he has three examples he wants me to go over, but first, let me put on the table what the genetic fallacy is. This is from logicalfallacies.info. The genetic fallacy is committed when an idea is accepted or rejected because of its source rather than its merits. Bad things can come from good, good things can come from bad, so you can't just look at the source, of, you have to evaluate each idea on its merits. Some examples of the genetic fallacy. Eugenics was pioneered in Germany during the war, therefore eugenics is bad. Maybe it's not bad, right? Uh, my mommy told me the tooth fairy is real, therefore the tooth fairy is real. These are examples given by the site. Uh, now, the, the examples he wants me to go over, number one, Christians say that, some Christians say that recounting the church's misdeeds is a fallacy of misrepresentation. So I think that fits by saying what happened in the church and by the church's hands was bad, therefore the church was bad, without evaluating the church on its own merits. But as they say in the Bible, you shall know them by their fruits. Uh, you'll know them by what they produce, by what they make. I, I don't, I, I'm not as um, happy to just attribute all the evil doings of religion through the ages to individual people. I think there's a reason they did it in the name of religion. I think religion motivates people. So this is a philosophical argument. And for them to just say, oh, you're just, that's a fallacy. The church and its misdeeds don't prove anything about religion. Uh, they are like an ostrich with their head in the sand, I believe. Uh, the, the next example, if 60% of Jews born were shown to be a detriment to society, then eliminating all Jews would improve society. <sighs> well, what about the 40% who may benefit it? It doesn't matter whether you can prove a group is bad for society. Uh, even if you can, you still can't judge the group, um, unless it's war. If you're talking about war, then you need to be unbelievably violent and get it over as quickly as possible and reestablish normalcy. Uh, but aside from war, you cannot uh, judge groups. You have to judge individuals. And let me give an example uh, of a group that society would be better off without. 97 or 98 or 99 percent of murderers are male. It's really high, up in the high 90s. Uh, 99 percent of, of rapists and child molesters and name just about any other of, of, of violent crime, uh, of assault and battery, abuse. Male, male, male. Now, that doesn't mean that Males are therefore a danger to society. It's individuals that are a danger to society, not males. And you can't uh, judge the whole group. You have to judge individuals. It's been shown, for example, that blacks are more violent generally than whites. That doesn't really prove anything about any given black person. There are white people that are murderers. Actually, white people tend to be the serial killers. Blacks don't. Blacks murder somebody in a, a you know, heist of a, a liquor store or something. It's the serial killers that do it over the long term tend to be white. Not all of them. There are a couple of black serial killers and Mexican serial killers and others, but generally they're middle or upper class white men. That doesn't tell you anything about individuals. So, even if you could show 60% of Jews were bad, look at my argument. 99% of murderers are men. That's just nothing. All right, number three, the third one he wants to talk about. Context. Nobel Prize winners and so on. Jews are 0.2% of the world population, have 165 Nobel Prize, have won 165 Nobel Prizes. Muslims are 20% of the world population. 0.2% Jew, 20% Muslim. 
165 Nobel Prizes, and how many? Six. I say that proves something about the culture, but it doesn't really uh, tell you that being Jewish is really that great or anything. Maybe atheists would produce even more than Jews. Um, I've heard that Jews are uh, religious atheists, so maybe they're atheists on some level. Um, by the way, one of the six Nobel Prize winners was Yasser Arafat, and he's uh, not a good guy, to say the least. So, uh, then there's what I can say about genetic fallacies versus statistical information, which is what he requested the video on. Uh, it is not a way to argue. You have to look at the merits of each individual. And as for the history of the church, that's a philosophical argument, not a statistical argument. Philosophically, these people were motivated by the stuff that they were teaching and were taught. And uh, you can't ignore that, even if you don't like the statistics. There were all the people estimated in a book I'm reading right now, uh, they estimate 9 million people were killed for being witches between the year 1400 and 1800 in Europe. I don't know about that. seems awfully high. I've heard uh, that it was like 16 people altogether for Dinesh D'Souza, but he's an apologist for Christianity. In all likelihood, it falls somewhere in between. Religion motivates people to be violent, and as a philosopher, you can conclude something about religion from the behavior of people who espouse it, for sure.